According to the law, any Namibian can be given a mining claim for a mere hundred dollars. One person or company can own up to ten mining claims. Mining claims are meant for small miners who use non-industrial equipment to, for example, remove semi-precious stones. Because such operations are small, one does not need to do an environmental impact assessment, which determines the damage such operations might have on the environment. A Namibian company Longfire, which has 10 mining claims, teamed up with the Chinese company Jingfeng Investment to explore minerals on two of their mining claims in the area of Uiz. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Natural Resources probed the joint venture holders about the legality of their operations. Longfire Director January Likulano says the company is mining lithium, which is a rare earth metal, on those two mining claims. If you did the exploration, when did you do it? And which company did uh, give you that or did, did it for you? Did you do it yourself? Uh, the company, the that you're working with now, is the one that did the exploration. So, so they, they did the exploration? Funds, it's the one that they have funds, so it's the one that do the... Okay, when did they do that? When they, did they do this uh, the exploration? Last year, but I can't remember when they did it. Before you now literally start with mining. This is why you first find out what is there. Yeah. Now the claim, the 73410, mm -hmm. tells you, no, there is something. Do you just... The next day start? No, no, no. We, we, we don't we don't start. So we give them there's a there's a report that monthly report that you give. Anything that you find you have to you have to write it in that monthly report. And, and what fill it and then you give it to the ministry. Okay, that's that's a question. Yes. Okay. No, no. Now did the ministry when they received it now gave you okay and say yes you may start mining because you found this? No, they did not because I, I have a money claim. So the money claim you don't very serious issues that we must look at because it means therefore that in talking about illegal mining the institution that must regulate the mining sector that must protect the mineral wealth of this country in terms of the constitutional mandate that must advance a fair and just and inclusive sectoral approach to ensure that small miners and everyone else that has an interest in adding value to and participating in the mining sector gets to be accommodated, that that very institution seems to be complicit. If that is the case, then I think we have a dangerous situation in which the president will have to be asked to intervene, to hold a number of officials criminally liable, to hold uh, some executive members uh, criminally liable, but also to discharge them from their political and administrative responsibility. Meanwhile, Minister of Mines and Energy Tomal Wendo has revoked the lithium mining license issued to Jingfeng Investment for exclusive prospecting near Omaruru. The license was to run until 2042. Renata Rengura, NBC News, UIS.